Are you looking to create some last minute spooktacular deals for your products or service or something that you're really trying to sell before this Halloween is over? Well, I'm gonna focus this week on how you can use one of the existing remixable templates and create your own design similar to this. So this is a final design that I have and I wanna share with you how I achieved this and to the point where I got. Actually, I used this template that's available within the remix version and I added some elements to get to that point. So let me show you how I found this template. I went into the featured panel and I kind of literally just scrolled and then I found this awesome, beautiful ocean-like graphic. I selected that one and once I did that, then I actually went in and modified so, some things. So once I went into the graphic, all I did was I tapped on this, which is actually like a cutout effect of this type. And then once you go in and tap on the background, you can see that it's an actual nice ocean image and it's just cutting out the type, which is a really nice effect that you can achieve. So what I did is I looked for something really scary. I actually use a nice fun texture of a chucky looking face. So that's what you see on the background of my type. Then what I literally did was I duplicated that type, made it around slightly the same size, a little larger, and then I gave it an outline. So by doing this outline, what I did is I kind of just created some more emphasis into that. And then I can kind of go back and adjust this so that it fits the right way. But to achieve this outline, I'm just gonna tap onto the effect tool and then just tap on outline. And as you can see, that's where I was able to adjust that. So it kind of gives it a nice little effect. Then this guy, this fun little hand pointing at this type that I have, I actually found through the PNG graphics that you can a grab for free within the app. So what you would do is just go into the ad, add photo, and then search under the free stock images that we are provided within the app for PNGs. I actually go into this through another tutorial about PNG graphics, just like this guy too, that you can go in and add to your designs and get super creative. So make sure you check that one out too. Next thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna tap on add text and I'm just gonna add my super special awesome offer of 75% off because I want people to come and buy whatever it is that I'm selling for 70 off. I'm actually typing this as a vertical because a vertical format allows me to create some more visual appeal and really capture you as a user to kind of grab that and it lets me make this type a little bit larger. And because I don't have so much text on it, it actually works. So what I did was I tapped on the, the first option that we get within the shape tool, and that allowed me to create this nice bar graph or uh, bar behind the type so that it actually helps me create some more emphasis. So I'm just gonna go in and select that. Next, I'm gonna go in and actually type, bring this type to the back so that Mr. Fun Guy over here can be more in the foreground and then now I'm actually starting to set up some of my type. The next thing I wanna share with you is what I did to kind of create this fun ghost that looks like a grandma so that it kind of actually works with the message that I have there. So I went in and I searched for a ghost icon first and then I found him. Then the next thing that I had searched for was hair because I wanted him have grandma hair so that he can actually look like a grandma. So I literally looked through all the options. There's a lot of great options here as far as what you can use for these elements. So as you can see, you can get super creative and build your own little icons using all these other supporting icons. So let's say, you know, you can kind of keep looking. There's a lot of options. So just be patient as it loads because there's so many great things you can use. I'm just gonna give grandma a different look. And so I'm just gonna select this one. And as you can see, it kind of loads and then I'm gonna tap on the color because I want it to actually match grandma's overall ghostly look. And then I can kind of go in and nudge her little wig on so that it actually fits her right. Then the next thing I did was I added an icon and I looked for a cane. So that way, you know, grandma had a cane. Selected that. The really neat thing about this recent update is I can just tap select flip and then grandma's cane is actually facing the other way which is exactly what I wanted and so then I can kind of go and bring this in closer to her hand. One of the other last touches that I did to create that final graphic that I shared with you is I added an icon and I actually looked for splatter. 
then this allows me to create some really nice textures within the design because it actually fits and I love textures. So then I'm kind of adding that as you can see, I'm kind of bring, keeping it in the foreground because I kind of want some of these nice splatters on top of our fun friend down here. And then I'm just gonna duplicate it and kind of just rotate it so that I can have some of those effects over there on the other side and kind of like how this looks on top of the type. So this is super creative and the way that you're using all these available tools within the app to get super creative. So I hope this got you excited and I can't wait to see what you create with this tutorial. This is Nick Tay Cuevas of Nick Tay Creative Design.